Hey Mer, hey! Mermaid Moxie Marina here with my first review video. Today we're looking at the Mer Taylor Fantasy 1 and Fantasy 2. Swimming with me today is my friend Mermaid Tia. The first thing we did was take these monofins out for a basic swim. Next, we tried some backflips, some tail stands, and just some free swimming to, you know, check out the maneuverability of each monofin. And then, of course, we had to trade. Time to take these two for a swim. Now the fantasy one is the lightest, so it's the only one that I would say you can dive right in with. But the fantasy two has some beautiful movement. It's definitely got a very unique shape to it. Whether you go with the fantasy fin one, or the Fantasy Fin 2, you're gonna end up a happy mer. But there might be some things you wanna think about before you decide which fin is right for you. If you're looking for a lighter fin with a more classic mermaid look, you might be more attracted to the Fantasy Fin 1. But if you're looking for something a little different with a more mythical fantasy feel, the Fantasy Fin 2 might be right for you. After our swim, Mermaid T and I went on shore to discuss what we thought of each fin. All right, well, I've noticed that the one, she's got a lot of speed. She's really, really compact, which is nice, but she definitely still gives you that classic mermaid look and feel. Versus the two's got a little bit more of a butterfly effect. What do you think of the two versus the one? I thought the two so dramatic. She's super dramatic. So dramatic. I think she'd be really great for underwater still. Ooh, yeah. She's got a lot of flop and flip to her, too. Definitely great slow-mo footage. Really, really great in terms of, like, giving you more of a fantasy feel than a classic fish. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So, so fantasy koi fish or fantasy sea monster vibes, whichever you decide to dress her up. Definitely. Yeah. This, this fin is so maneuverable. Oh, bang for your buck, guys. This is the actually the least expensive fin of the line. And she might be one of the fastest. What is drag? <laughs> yeah, what is drag? You don't have it in this tail. I can't wait to try her with a skin because they also have the most affordable skins. You can get a skin starting at $9.99. That's right, only 100 bucks for skins for the one. So if you're a starting mermaid and you don't want to invest a couple hundred bucks, this is the baby you want to begin with. Now before you choose the Fantasy Fin 1 or the Fantasy Fin 2, you have a few more things to consider. They have different skin options and there's also the Fantasy Fin 3 and 4. But if you're a beginning mer, you might be fully satisfied with the Fantasy Fin 1 or 2, which has lots of lovely options and is the best for your buck. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, there's going to be a link to all of the products in the description. Hope you enjoyed my review of the Mer Taylor Fantasy Fin 1 and Fantasy Fin 2. Review on the 3 and 4 coming soon. Thanks for swimming this way and have a fantastic day.